Hey guys, as usual, I'm out here enjoying the beautiful weather and beautiful nature that surrounds me all over the place here. I love this place so much and I want to start this video with giving a shout out to one of my good friends. Sorry, there's a bug here. His uh, channel's name is Mark Melherb. I hope I pronounced this right, Mark. And he has very good content. Uh, he's producing a lot of cool videos and he has a lot of videos with scenic shots and a lot of different uh, pet animals that he owns. So please go ahead and check him out. I believe that his channel will grow so much and he will reach a lot of subscribers very shortly. So please go ahead, check him out. If you like his channel, give him support, give him a like uh, and subscribe to his channel. Thanks a lot. What's up fish fam? Welcome back to another video of Mark's Fish Care. Today is the special video, part three DIY aquarium pond build and of course as you guys already know and expect we're going to be putting some fish in and get and buying some fish fish that i bought guys are of course guppies and most of you guys already uh, knew that i'm gonna get guppies most likely and the reason i got guppies because they're on the smaller side and they're very beautiful and they have a lot of coloration so it's super nice to have them in our pond and uh, be able to breed them and i got some beautiful ones so lots of you requested guppies actually for longest time ever. I think I didn't have 1000 subscribers yet when you guys uh, requested guppies, but of course you have to understand me, I couldn't get guppies right away because uh, I needed some time to expand my fish room and everything like that, but now I'm ready and I got some phenomenal looking guppies. I got around four males and seven females and the males are phenomenal. They're snowflake color and I cannot wait to show them to you guys. So let's go ahead, I'll take you a little bit to the store and after we're gonna meet you guys in the fish room and I'll reveal all of my guppies and how everything's gonna work out. Hey guys, welcome back to my fish room again. It's another day and today we got the fish finally. So as you guys already can tell by the title, we got some guppies. We got four males and uh, seven females. So it's sort of a very good ratio because usually if you really want to do it right, you want to have around three, uh, three males or actually sorry, one male to four females ratio. But since we're going to breed them and the pond is not the biggest in the world, of course, we're gonna be doing the ratio that I just told you guys about and it was so hard to find these uh, uh, guppies. I couldn't find them anywhere, guys. It's one of the most popular fish, but that's the reason partially why I couldn't find them. And uh, most of the fish stores had like a couple, maybe two or three, and they were all males. And I was so scared that I will never find females. But then we got into one of the fish stores and we found females. I was so happy. Couldn't be more happy than I am at the moment. And let me show you guys uh, what I got. Check this out, pond is doing phenomenal and I already let these guys acclimate for almost 45 minutes and I cannot wait to release them guys. So I got such a colorful guppies, uh, it's very hard to see them in this bag of course, but I got uh, four males that are super white color, they're like snowflake color and different colors of females. So we're, we might have some beautiful guppies in this aquarium. I cannot wait to release them. So let's go ahead guys, release these bad boys in here and uh, see how they look and how they uh, uh, like their new pond. So check this out guys, it's uh, very hard to see some of them unfortunately, but I, there's uh, four or five uh, white ones at the moment, they're all males and the rest, all the colorful ones are females and look how they enjoy their home already, they are already started to swim around and they're way more active, like it's so nice to have this uh, circular pond because we can do so much with it especially. And all I need actually in this, I need like some sort of light here to add uh, a little bit better light to, in order to film because it's super dark on this corner 
mostly because of all these aquariums all over the place that are here they're just uh, taking too much of the light away but look at this phenomenal stuff guys I will get back to you with an update I will leave them in here for a day or so and then I'll get back to you guys in different day and we will look at how they uh, do and hopefully by that time I get some other stuff sorted out so this is the next day as I promised and look what I did already I know it doesn't look the best but for now it will do the job I put this uh, glass on top so the fish won't jump out and let me show you the temperature temperature is doing good this stuff is actually two degrees off or so and if you guys want to know in Fahrenheit that's approximately the temperature in Fahrenheit but actually it's around 80 81 to 82 because it's off two to three degrees so it's all good and it's perfect for breeding guppies so let me go ahead and take this out off so you guys can see the fish and how they're doing at the moment yeah let me grab this glass put it on the side put the light back on and turn off the pump so you guys can actually see okay come closer and check this out check this out guys look at these fish they're doing so phenomenal and these colorations are crazy they're so active and they like to uh, first the first thing when I put them in I actually gave them some food to feel more comfortable at home because that's what I think the fish needs right away some people don't agree with that but that's my opinion and they went for that food like crazy and check them out closer uh, the all of the snowflake ones the white ones are males and the rest of the fish they are all color colorful it's very hard to see them because um, uh, they're from the bow but it's different perspective that my channel will give you guys on fish because we always look at the fish from their sides but now we can look from them from the top and check them out they're doing so good they're so active I put some moss in there for them for now I put one plant to see how it's gonna do this this guy from my 36 gallon planter aquarium so far it's doing okay and I put some more plants over here that's those uh, surface plants I took a bunch of them from my beta tank for now and I'm gonna see how they're gonna grow if they're gonna do good we're gonna add even more here and it's all gonna be covered in uh, these plants and in the middle of course they won't be able to uh, uh, to survive because they will always be pushed to the side so it's gonna be circular uh, circular movement pretty much of these super phenomenal plants let me put this uh, light closer to so you guys can see and check this out guys there's somebody in here there is a surprise in this aquarium uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys know what I'm talking about I'm gonna try to catch them with my hand here very gently see if I can catch any of them look at them so beautiful oh I almost got one let me see if I can catch any of these guys for you oh yeah look at this guy so this guy is a male he jumped uh, back in the pond I'm not gonna risk it guys so this is a male and hopefully they're gonna start breeding here shortly because I need they need some time to get used to the aquarium it's already been it's their fourth day actually you guys are a little bit behind but I hope you guys will enjoy what I did here and we're gonna come up with many many more updates and when this pond will be covered in plants as well think about it how natural and cool looking this aquarium will be I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and the next video that's coming up is very cool I already have that fish and if you guys watched uh, until uh, the end you guys will probably figure out what's in that pond that you guys just saw something unique something cool and uh, something that I wanted to get a long time ago so thanks again for watching I hope everybody are doing good and as always I'll see you in my next videos